Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a thought-provoking journey. Lessons that men learn too late in life. This video is more than just a guide. It's a reflection on the wisdom that often comes with time and experience, but that can profoundly shape our lives if learned earlier. Our aim is to share insights that can be transformative, regardless of where you are in your life's journey. Throughout history, Stoic philosophy has offered timeless wisdom on leading a life of virtue, resilience, and inner peace. It teaches us about the value of understanding what is within our control and how to cultivate a mindset geared towards personal growth and contentment. In this video, we intertwine these ancient teachings with practical modern-day examples, illustrating how these lessons are as relevant today as they were thousands of years ago. Each lesson we discuss is a piece of the puzzle in understanding the bigger picture of life. From learning to accept what you cannot control, choosing your perspective, living in the present moment, to understanding the futility of material pursuits, these lessons encompass a broad range of experiences and insights. We'll explore the importance of self-discipline and integrity, the transformative power of embracing change, the art of managing emotions, and the significance of taking personal responsibility. Further, we'll delve into the value of continuous learning and the profound strength found in forgiveness. Real-life examples will bring these concepts to life, demonstrating how they apply in various scenarios, from personal relationships to professional endeavors. Interspersed with thought-provoking stoic quotes, this video aims not just to educate, but also to inspire a deep introspection and a renewed approach to life's challenges and opportunities. So, whether you're a young man just starting out, a seasoned professional, or anywhere in between, these lessons have something to offer you. They're about learning to navigate life with wisdom, grace, and a sense of purpose. Let's embark on this journey together, uncovering these vital lessons that, if learned earlier, can profoundly alter the course of our lives. Before we delve into these timeless teachings, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked the video, enabling me to continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you're not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Lesson 1. Acceptance of what you can't control. In life, we often encounter situations that are beyond our control. It could be unforeseen events, the actions of others, or even certain outcomes despite our best efforts. Accepting what we can't control is a vital lesson, often learned too late. It's about understanding the limits of our influence and focusing our energy where it truly matters. The Stoics, ancient philosophers known for their practical wisdom, emphasize the importance of distinguishing between what we can control and what we can't. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, famously said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This quote encapsulates the essence of Stoic acceptance, focusing on our reactions, not on trying to control the uncontrollable. Consider the story of John, a dedicated professional who faced unexpected redundancy due to company downsizing. Initially, John struggled with feelings of anger and injustice. However, he soon realized that dwelling on these emotions and the unfairness of the situation was not productive. Instead, he focused on what he could control, his response. John used this time to upskill, network, and eventually found a more fulfilling job. This shift in perspective, from resentment to proactive self-improvement, is a perfect example of practicing acceptance. Here are some strategies for practicing acceptance. Identify what's within your control. Start by distinguishing between what you can and can't control. Focus your efforts on the former, mindfulness and awareness. Practice mindfulness to stay present and aware, helping to prevent getting lost in worries about things outside your control. Reframe your thoughts. When facing uncontrollable circumstances, try to reframe your thoughts. Look for the opportunities or lessons within the challenge. Let go of the need for control. Gradually work on letting go of the desire to control everything. Acceptance often involves embracing uncertainty and being okay with not having all the answers. Seek support and guidance. Sometimes talking to others can provide a fresh perspective and help in accepting difficult situations. 
Embracing acceptance doesn't mean passivity or resignation. It's about finding strength and focusing on our own actions and attitudes. When we accept what we cannot control, we liberate ourselves from unnecessary stress and open ourselves to growth and new possibilities. Lesson 2. The Power of Choosing Your Perspective Our perspective on life's events shapes our experiences more than the events themselves. How we choose to view a situation can either be a source of enduring strength or unnecessary suffering. Recognizing that we have the power to choose our perspective is a critical lesson often learned too late. Stoicism teaches us that our interpretation of events, not the events themselves, determines our responses. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This perspective highlights the immense power we hold in framing our experiences. Take the story of Alex, who faced a significant health scare. While initially overwhelmed with fear and uncertainty, Alex gradually shifted his perspective. He saw this challenge as a wake-up call to prioritize his health and relationships. This change in viewpoint transformed a frightening experience into a catalyst for positive life changes. Here are some techniques to reframe perspective. 1. Embrace a growth mindset. View challenges as opportunities to grow rather than insurmountable obstacles. 2. Practice gratitude. Focusing on what's going well in your life can shift your perspective from what's lacking to what's abundant. 3. Learn from others. Sometimes, seeing how others have positively navigated similar situations can inspire a new perspective. 4. Keep a long-term view. Consider how this situation might influence your life in the long run, often leading to a more balanced viewpoint. 5. Stay open to multiple perspectives. Remember that there are many ways to look at a situation. Staying open can lead to more adaptive and creative thinking. Choosing our perspective is more than mere positive thinking. It's an empowering choice that can transform our lives. By actively shaping our viewpoint, we become architects of our experience, not just passive recipients of external circumstances. This lesson, when internalized, can lead to a life of greater resilience, optimism, and personal power. Lesson 3. Living in the Present Living in the present is a lesson that many learn too late in life. The habit of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future can rob us of the joy and opportunities found in the here and now. Embracing the present moment leads to a fuller, more engaged experience of life. Stoicism teaches the importance of focusing on the present. As Seneca, a renowned Stoic, eloquently put it, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This highlights the Stoic belief in valuing the present as a cornerstone of a contented life. Consider Sarah, a hard-working professional who constantly planned for the future, missing out on valuable present moments. After realizing her children were growing up fast, she made a conscious effort to be more present. This meant setting aside specific times to be fully engaged with her family, without distractions from work or future plans. This shift not only enriched her personal relationships, but also made her more productive and focused during work hours. Here are some tips for mindfulness and staying present. 1. Practice mindfulness. Regular mindfulness practices like meditation can help in anchoring yourself in the present moment. 2. Limit multitasking. Focus on one task at a time to fully engage with what you are doing. 3. Appreciate small moments. Take time to notice and appreciate the small joys and details of everyday life. 4. Disconnect from digital distractions. Allocate specific times to disconnect from phones and computers to be truly present in your surroundings. 5. You reflect daily. Spend a few minutes each day reflecting on what you did, felt, and enjoyed. This can help in cultivating an appreciation for the present. Living in the present is not about ignoring the past or neglecting the future. It's about finding a balance where the past is a place of reference, the future a source of inspiration, and the present a field of action. By embracing the present, 
we open ourselves to experiencing life more fully, making more meaningful connections and finding joy in the ordinary. This lesson, once learned and applied, can significantly enhance the quality of our daily lives. Lesson 4. Self-discipline and integrity. Self-discipline and integrity are foundational elements of a strong character and are often lessons learned later in life. They involve not just the actions we take, but also the values we uphold in both easy and challenging times. Developing these qualities is essential for personal growth and lasting success. Stoicism places great emphasis on virtues like self-discipline and integrity. As Epictetus stated, no man is free who is not master of himself. This sentiment underscores the Stoic belief that true freedom and fulfillment come from internal control and living in accordance with one's principles. Consider Michael, a business owner faced with the temptation to cut corners for short-term gains. While many in his industry succumbed to unethical practices, Michael stood firm in his values. This commitment to integrity not only preserved his reputation, but also led to long-term business relationships built on trust. His story exemplifies the power of self-discipline in adhering to ethical standards, even when it's challenging. Here are some advices on building self-discipline. 1. Set clear goals and values. Understand what you stand for and what you want to achieve. Let these guide your actions. 2. Develop routines and habits. Consistent routines foster discipline. Start with small habits and build upon them. 3. Practice. Delayed gratification. Learn to postpone immediate pleasures for long-term benefits. This strengthens self-control. 4. Be accountable. Hold yourself accountable for your actions or find a mentor or group that helps in maintaining accountability. 5. Reflect on your decisions. Regularly reflect on your choices to ensure they align with your values and goals. Integrity is about being consistent in thoughts, words, and actions. It's about being the same person in both private and public life. The strength of character shown through integrity and self-discipline not only earns respect from others but also fosters a deep sense of self-respect. Embracing these qualities can lead to a life of authenticity, reliability, and genuine achievement. Lesson 5. Embracing change as growth and opportunity. Change is an inevitable part of life, yet many learn too late that embracing it is key to personal and professional growth. Understanding that change can be a gateway to new opportunities is a transformative realization, one that can lead to significant development and success. Stoicism teaches the value of adaptability in the face of change. The philosopher Marcus Aurelius noted, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. This highlights the stoic view that embracing change is not just about physical adaptation, but also about mental flexibility. Let's look at the story of Emily who was made redundant from a long-term career. Initially, she viewed this change as a personal failure. However, she gradually shifted her perspective to see it as an opportunity to pursue a career she was truly passionate about. This led her to retrain and eventually start a successful business in a field she loved. Emily's story illustrates how embracing change can open doors to unforeseen and fulfilling paths. Here are some methods for welcoming and initiating change. 1. Seek learning in every change. View changes as opportunities to learn something new, which can be an enriching experience. 2. Stay open to new experiences. Being open to trying new things can make transitions smoother and more rewarding. 3. Develop flexibility. Cultivate a flexible mindset that adapts to change rather than resists it. 4. Create a support system. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage your growth and adaptability. 5. Take initiative. Sometimes, initiating change yourself can be empowering and lead to new opportunities. Change, when embraced, can be a powerful catalyst for growth. It pushes us out of our comfort zones, challenges us to learn and adapt, and can lead to unexpected opportunities. By viewing change not as an obstacle but as an avenue for development, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities and a journey of continual self-improvement. Lesson 6. The Futility of Material Pursuits 
One of the critical lessons often learned late in life is the futility of chasing material possessions as a path to happiness. While material comforts can provide temporary pleasure, they rarely lead to long-term fulfillment. This lesson is about recognizing that true contentment comes from non-material aspects of life. Stoicism offers profound insights into the nature of happiness and the role of material possessions. Epictetus once stated, Wealth consists not in having great possessions but in having few wants. This perspective emphasizes the idea that true wealth is found in simplicity and the ability to appreciate what one already has. Consider the story of Richard, a successful executive who spent years accumulating wealth and possessions. Despite his material success, he felt a persistent sense of emptiness. It was only after volunteering and engaging in meaningful community work that Richard found genuine satisfaction. This shift from material pursuit to finding purpose and connection illustrates the lesson's essence. Word of advice, focusing on non-material fulfillment. 1. Cultivate relationships. Invest time and energy in building and nurturing relationships, as these are key sources of happiness. 2. Find purpose beyond possessions. Engage in activities that provide a sense of purpose and contribute to the well-being of others. 3. Practice gratitude. Regularly reflect on and appreciate what you have, rather than fixating on what you lack. 4. Seek personal growth. Focus on personal development and self-improvement, which provide lasting fulfillment. 5. Embrace experiences over things. Prioritize experiences, like travel or learning new skills, which often lead to greater happiness than material objects. The realization that material pursuits are ultimately futile in providing lasting happiness is a pivotal moment in one's life. It redirects focus towards more fulfilling endeavors such as personal growth, relationships, and purpose-driven activities. This understanding, once embraced, can lead to a more balanced, contented, and meaningful life. Lesson 7. Managing Emotions Learning to manage emotions is a critical skill that many men realize the importance of later in life. Emotional intelligence involves recognizing, understanding, and effectively managing our own emotions, as well as empathizing with the emotions of others. This skill is key to building strong relationships, making sound decisions, and maintaining mental health. Stoic philosophy provides valuable guidance on managing emotions. Seneca, a Stoic thinker, advised, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. This wisdom highlights the importance of pausing and reflecting before reacting, allowing rational thought to guide emotional responses. Consider David, who experienced profound grief after losing a family member. Initially overwhelmed by his emotions, he struggled to cope. However, by seeking support, expressing his emotions through writing, and practicing mindfulness, David learned to process his grief healthily. This journey underscores the importance of managing emotions rather than letting them control you. Here are some techniques for managing and understanding emotions. 1. Self-awareness. Regularly check in with yourself to understand your emotions and their triggers. 2. Mindfulness practices. Techniques like meditation can help in regulating emotional responses and reducing impulsivity. 3. Express emotions constructively. Find healthy outlets for emotions such as talking to a trusted friend or engaging in creative activities. 4. Seek professional help. When needed, don't hesitate to seek the help of a therapist or counselor for emotional challenges. 5. Learn from emotions. View emotions as signals that provide insights into your values, needs, and perhaps areas needing attention or change. Mastering emotional management is essential for leading a balanced and fulfilling life. It not only improves personal well-being but also enhances interpersonal relationships. By understanding and managing emotions effectively, we can navigate life's challenges with greater resilience and wisdom. Lesson 8. The importance of personal responsibility. Understanding and accepting personal responsibility is a crucial life lesson often learned too late. It involves acknowledging that our actions, decisions, and attitudes significantly shape our life's course. Embracing personal responsibility means moving beyond blaming external circumstances and taking charge of our own life. 
Stoic Wisdom on Responsibility Stoicism teaches the importance of personal accountability. As Epictetus stated, we are responsible for some things while there are others for which we cannot be held responsible. This distinction emphasizes focusing on areas where we have agency and accepting responsibility for our choices. Real life example, taking charge of personal health. Consider the story of Liam, who struggled with health issues due to an unhealthy lifestyle. Initially, he blamed his circumstances and busy work schedule for his poor health. However, when he started taking responsibility for his choices, things changed. He adopted a healthier lifestyle, prioritizing his well-being over short-term comforts. This shift not only improved his health, but also his overall quality of life, demonstrating the power of personal responsibility. Steps to cultivate a sense of responsibility. 1. Acknowledge your role. Recognize your part in your current life situation, whether it's your health, career, or relationships. 2. Set personal goals. Define what you want to achieve and take steps towards these goals, accepting that it's your responsibility to act. 3. Learn from mistakes. Instead of blaming others, use mistakes as learning opportunities to improve. 4. Develop self-discipline. Build habits that reinforce responsibility, such as meeting commitments and following through on promises. 5. Seek feedback and reflect. Regularly reflect on your actions and decisions, and be open to feedback to understand areas for improvement. The Impact of Taking Responsibility Taking personal responsibility transforms how we approach life. It empowers us to make changes, grow, and influence our life's trajectory positively. This mindset shift leads to a more proactive, purposeful, and fulfilling life, characterized by continual growth and self-improvement. Lesson 9. Value of Wisdom and Knowledge Lifelong Learning and Growth The value of wisdom and knowledge is a lesson often undervalued until later in life. Realizing the importance of continual learning and personal growth is key to a fulfilling and successful life. This involves not just academic or professional knowledge, but also wisdom gained from life experiences. Stoic Beliefs on Wisdom Stoicism places great importance on the pursuit of wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, a proponent of this philosophy, remarked, The only wealth which you will keep forever is the wealth you have given away. This highlights the Stoic belief that true knowledge and wisdom are not diminished when shared, but rather grow. Real Life Example Continuous Professional Development Consider Angela, a mid-career professional who felt stagnated in her job. She decided to invest in her professional development by taking courses and attending workshops. This commitment to learning not only rejuvenated her career but also opened new opportunities for advancement and personal satisfaction, encouraging the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. 1. Stay curious. Cultivate a sense of curiosity about the world. Ask questions and seek answers. 2. Read and research. Regular reading and research expand your knowledge and understanding of various subjects. 3. Learn from experiences. View every experience, whether good or bad, as an opportunity to gain wisdom. 4. Share knowledge. Teaching or sharing. What you know with others can reinforce your learning and provide new insights. 5. Seek mentors and role models. Learn from the wisdom of others who have experience and knowledge in areas of your interest. The power of knowledge and wisdom. The pursuit of knowledge and wisdom is a never-ending journey that enriches life in countless ways. It leads to better decision-making, increased empathy, and a deeper understanding of the world and ourselves. Embracing this pursuit can transform our lives, making us more informed, thoughtful, and wise individuals. Lesson 10. The Strength in Forgiveness. The Power of Forgiveness. One of the most profound lessons often learned late in life is the strength found in forgiveness. Forgiving others and even oneself is not a sign of weakness, but a powerful act of courage and understanding. It frees us from the burden of resentment and opens the door to healing and peace. Stoic Views on Forgiveness. Stoic philosophy advocates for forgiveness as a means to inner peace. Seneca said, 
The man who forgives an injury proves himself to be the superior of the man who wronged him and puts the wrongdoer to shame. This perspective views forgiveness as a virtuous path that enhances personal dignity and strength. Real-life example, resolving personal conflicts. Consider the story of Tom, who harbored deep resentment towards a colleague over a past conflict. This bitterness affected not only his work environment, but also his personal well-being. When Tom decided to forgive, not only did it mend his relationship with his colleague, but it also brought him a profound sense of relief and contentment. This act of forgiveness was a pivotal moment in his personal and professional life. How to practice forgiveness. 1. Acknowledge your feelings. Recognize and accept your emotions about the situation. 2. Empathize with the other person. Try to understand the situation from the other person's perspective. 3. Decide to forgive. Make a conscious decision to forgive, even if it feels difficult. 4. Express your forgiveness. Communicate your forgiveness, either directly or through your actions. 5. Let go and move on. Work on releasing the anger and resentment and focus on the present and future. The transformative effect of forgiveness. Forgiveness can be transformative. It does not mean condoning wrong behavior, but rather letting go of the grip that past hurts have on your life. By embracing forgiveness, we not only improve our relationships, but also enhance our mental and emotional well-being. This lesson, once fully realized and practiced, can lead to a more compassionate, peaceful, and harmonious life. In this journey through 10 lessons men learn too late in life, we've explored a range of essential life lessons that have the power to transform our understanding, actions, and overall approach to life. These lessons, drawn from the wisdom of Stoic philosophy and illustrated with real-life examples, provide a blueprint for living a more fulfilled and purposeful life. As we conclude, let's reflect on the words of Marcus Aurelius. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This call to action encourages us to integrate these lessons into our daily lives, not just as concepts, but as practices that guide our thoughts, choices, and actions. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration. May these lessons not only be learned but also lived, leading you to a life of greater wisdom, fulfillment, and peace. If you found value in these teachings, I encourage you to like the video, share it, and subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the profound and practical teachings of Stoicism. Until next time, May these teachings enrich your life and empower you on your personal journey.